Hello, my name is Lila Jones. Welcome to Shop Talk. And I have today with me my guest co-host, Miss Natalie Small Johnson. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Natalie. Hello, I'm so happy to be here today. It is a pleasure to have you here. And uh, you are here today and you're gonna talk about your organization, which is, I do believe, is it bent but not broken? Yes. That alone is very interesting very interesting because we want to know what what is this about bent but not broken it it pretty much um god put it on my heart at one time that as women as females we go through so much in just trying to get ourselves together life give, brings us challenges up yes. and downs and ups and downs and unfortunately um in today's society it's not i don't believe it's enough support for women because our roles have dr dramatically changed, drastically changed. And just for that, because we've been this way, we've been that way and we are the breadwinner, we are the parents, yes. we are, a lot of us are single parents, um, we are uh, business owners. Yes. We go through a lot of emotional wear and tear. Yes. So we bend, but we don't break. We bend, but we don't break. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm telling you, uh, sometimes you're bent so much that mm -hmm. you can just feel the pieces on the inside of you. You just feel shattered. Mm -hmm. But still, you'll still say bent, but not broken. That's right. Because what I what I thought about was one time I sprained my ankle. Yes. And I went to the hospital. And I was like, I know it's broken. I know it's broken because it's so painful. Yes. And the doctor said to me, if it was broken, it probably would not be so painful. Sprains hurt worse than breaks a lot of the times. And it takes a longer time for the sprain to heal, longer than it usually takes bones because bones have direct blood supply. And when he said that to me, it made sense because it, it does feel like we're so shattered on the inside, yes, it does. so devastated, like we just cannot put the pieces back together. But instead of us just being broken, we are just bent to our capacity. And so being bent to the capacity does make you feel broken. So when you say uh, bent but not broken, are you talking about um, every aspect, socially, financially, your health, um, your relationships, your marriage, your children, in every aspect? In every aspect of your life. Wow. Um, we go through so many things financially. Um, sometimes you can be making a lot of money, things happen, and then you go back to uh, making less half of what you've yeah, been making less than average. right and yes. that's that really wears on you so even if you have an, a husband or a spouse mm -hmm. that wears on you yes. um, because you you're thinking well I made this much one time and then you see the changes that you have to make in your life so almost you, you almost feel like a failure yes you do yeah because I've been through that and you and I did feel like a failure because I was not able to produce I was not able to provide the way that I was used to providing I could provide but not to the magnitude that I was used to providing. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot up out of me, um, emotionally, mentally, because you start questioning yourself, you know, yes. like what is wrong with me that I'm not able to make this amount of money anymore? Or what have I missed? Or what did I need to go back? You know, what, what was the cycle that I missed in the cycle? Um, so it does wear on you a lot because just a simple trip to McDonald's, is it's easy to tear you down because when you used to buy a value meal, now you can't. You have to buy a happy meal. And sometimes kids don't understand that. Right. They right. don't understand why you can't buy uh the nicest shoes. Now yes. you can only buy, you know, the cheaper shoes because we try to hide that yes. part. Um we don't want them to see have to see that part of life. So we shield yeah. them well, from now, it. In in my opinion, I, I think that um, if, when you do go through challenges in life, I, I really think that you should uh, explain to your children mm -hmm. and, and, and in some cases even let them go through because mm -hmm. life is like that. I mean, it's, it has its ups and downs. And when your child becomes an adult, if you know you have hidden everything from them, mm -hmm. how will they be able to deal with the challenges of life? And see, that's the aspect of bent but not broken. See how you just took 
what some people would say, oh, no, I should not let my children see that. But you explained it to them yes. in a way that they were able to understand. Yes. So Bent But Not Broken is a sisterhood in order to get people to where they need to be, in order to break things down and successfully explain it to them so that they will see, okay, it is a better side mm -hmm. to this. I don't have to go through this alone. Yeah. I have someone I can talk to. I have a question. It isn't um, spe a specific race or uh, it, it isn't based on your education. Mm -mm. It isn't based on your, uh, your, your, your social ability. Mm -hmm. It isn't based on anything like that. Bent but not broken, it can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. Of any status. Of any status. Of any status. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because life challenges just does not say, okay, I'm just going to uh, hit the people that make $70,000. Yes. It does not say I'm going to hit this race of people. Life challenges hit everybody. Yes, it does. Um, and it, you know, it may just depend on how you tolerate it or how you deal with it, but it hits, cancer hits everybody's family. It doesn't have a race. It doesn't have a creed. It does mm -hmm. not have a pedigree. It does not have an age bracket. Now you're seeing 13 year olds with breast cancer. Some people don't get it until they're 70. Tragedy hits us all at yes, any given does. time. Yes. And, and you know, and when, and when it does hit, you know, you, I would say you need a good friend or mm -hmm. you need an organization such as Bent but not broken because again you know you can feel like you're broken into pieces and you feel all alone mm -hmm. of course you know uh that's the whole idea mm -hmm. when you're hurting is to be is to make you feel alone like mm -hmm. you're the only person in this world that's that going, going through, through it but that is almost how you feel it is that is almost how you feel but with your organization to uh to be there for others and to actually help people go through and get to and, and come out mm -hmm. not just go through but mm -hmm. actually come out at a more uh, uh, victorious place in life, yes. So mm -hmm. I, I I like I like that organization. Uh, I just like the idea that it is there to help to help anyone of uh, any status, any age, race, color, creed. It does not matter. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I, I would say that it is needed. It it is needed. Sisterhood is needed. Mm -hmm. A good friend is needed. You and know? friends are hard to come by. They are so um, hard to come by because you have to be very careful, especially nowadays. You have to be very careful. I remember when I was a child. I remember growing up and people would come to my grandmother's house and talk to her and it stopped there. Mm -hmm, it it right. was not everybody's business. Right. Um, nobody spread it your business because yes. it stopped there. Now it's one of those things. As soon as you go talk to somebody, it's, it's on social, social media. media. Yeah, that is correct. Um, and you're just like, well, how did everybody know my business? Because right. your friend had a friend that put it on social media. And if they don't do it directly, sometimes they do it indirectly. They put a hint out there. That's right. Whereas everyone can figure this thing out, but that that is not a true sisterhood. And, and if you've ever been uh, broken mm -hmm. or bent mm -hmm. or shattered, mm -hmm. you will understand that you, you need a true friend. You need a good sisterhood. Mm -hmm. uh, you need family. You know, you, you just, you need people that are praying for you. Space. Uh, a safe space. That's it. That mm -hmm. And I like that. A safe space. Because you do. Because you don't want to uh, be somewhere and you're, uh, you know, you're, you're venting or you're sharing what you're going through and it's on social media mm -hmm. or, you know, you go to work and it's there, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, some, someone have shared, you know, this is what I believe. I believe uh, they say, you know, a, a good friend mm -hmm. will keep your secret. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that a good friend will free your secrets. Mm -hmm. Because if I let your secret go, I cannot take that secret and hold it against yes, you. you. Mm -hmm. So I believe that you should you should free a person's secret. You should mm -hmm. not keep their secret. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, and, and which that also will make you feel even more broken if you actually are going through something. And then on top of that, you know, everyone is looking at it. And, you know, you don't want to share with everyone. You you want that, that person, that confidant that you can share with, that you can vent to, that you can just pour your heart out. So tell me more about this organization and how is it that you came about to um, to establish it? Okay, well, it was a time in my life where everything just hit the fan at the same time. Um, I know about that. <laughs> yes, it, everything hit the fan at the same time. Mm -hmm. I lost my job. I went from a really great income. Yes. to almost nothing. Yes. Um, um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Wow. Um, my marriage was falling apart. Everything was falling apart at the same time. And I felt so 
isolated. I felt so, so alone. Saying, you was bent this way. You were bent that way. You were bent. You just kept being mm -hmm. bent from I just, one, one way mm -hmm. to from another. From one extreme to another. Yeah, from one extreme to another until you almost felt broken. I did because I did not realize that stress um, until I had to visit the hospital, that stress will tell your brain that you can just quit, just shut down. I mean, wow. stress will tell your, your brain will tell your body to just shut down because it's so overwhelming. Your brain is just filled to capacity. So your brain is saying we are tired um, and it's shutting your body down. And a lot of the things that we go through health wise, not all of them, but a lot of it is due to stress. Yes. Um, and the doctors will tell you that a lot of things happen to us or make the situations worth worse or medical conditions worse yes. because of stress. Yes. And stress comes from us not being able to handle or not being able to grasp what is going on, because that's I know as far as myself, I was unwilling to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I did not want to deal with the loss of my job. I didn't want anybody to know about the loss of my job. Um, I didn't want anybody to know that my marriage was breaking apart. I didn't want anybody to know about my diagnosis because even though it runs in my family, I was always that one was like, it's not going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. I get my yearly exams. I do mm -hmm. my own um, checkups. You know, yes. I make sure I'm touching in the right spaces like the doctor told me to. It's not going to happen to mm -hmm. me. Um, and it happened to me. Wow. And so when everything happens to you just at that one moment, it's like you cannot catch your breath. Mm -hmm. And you're too exhausted to ask someone for help. Or I was just too embarrassed. You know, and, and it's, it is amazing that you can be uh, absolutely embarrassed over over health issues that, <laughs> that, you know, that you did not ask for them to come, mm -hmm. but you can really be so embarrassed. But I, I really think that um, that's just a trick of the mind mm -hmm. and to have you so embarrassed that you don't want to share. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, what would you say to the audience now if, you know, if there's someone out there that is watching you that uh, could be going through uh, financial distraught or uh, or uh, breast cancer or any type uh, any type of cancer or any type of sickness or disease financial situation? What would you what would you uh, how would you reach out to them? That's my question. I would tell them that life happens to everyone. It's nothing that you've done per se. Um, we can make bad decisions to make things go wrong, but everybody has done something. Everybody goes through something. And then sometimes it just happens. Life just happens. And you have to realize that you, your mind can make it worse. Do not let, allow fear or your own mind to put you in a dark place. Um, always think positive. Always think of ways you can get out. And if sometimes thinking is overwhelming, so just don't think. Just sit there in the moment. Yes. Just absorb, absorb the moment. Yes. Think of things that will enlighten you. And yes. one of the things that I did was I love dogs. Yes. I would go to the dog park. Uh -huh. wow. I wouldn't even take my own dogs wow. because I did not want the uh, responsibility of watching my own dogs right. because I needed that downtime. Yes. So I would go to the dog bar and just look at all the dogs and I would think about all the dogs that are on earth and how they're all different. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. just a place for me to detox my mind. Yes. Sometimes, even if you can't leave home, sometimes you can just, I know with you, Miss Lala, you were one of those ones that you always bought magazines. I love magazines. And yes. you sit and, and when you were because going I through things, beauty. right, and when <laughs> yes. you were going through things that you were trying to figure out and you wanted your mind to rest, yes. you would go through the magazine. Yes. And that's another thing. People don't even realize it does not have to be anything complex. No, exactly. It doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could cost you absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. But you should know what you like. Mm -hmm. And my mother always taught me that. You know, you should know yourself and know what you like. Like, and you should also know what you can and cannot tolerate. Mm -hmm. You need to know that because that is part of knowing who you are. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you do need to know what you like and you do need to have some downtime. So I would like to say to the audience, if you're out there and regardless of what you may be going through and you may be bent, you may have been bent several different ways, but bent, but you are not broken. 
That's awesome. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. The whole organization, I do believe, is awesome. And it sounds as though it will uh, just progress to uh, something really, really big mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, as we're here now giving this information, mm -hmm. um, if someone wanted to um, uh, reach you, it, do you have a Facebook page? Yes, or we have like a that, Bit But or? Not Broken Facebook page. Okay. We also have um, Instagram. Okay. We have a we have a phone number, 352-474-8519 is the Bit But Not Broken phone number. We okay. also are working on chapters, yes. um, getting it in every city Wonderful. or, you know, every county so everybody can have help. Yes. And it's from the ages of 12 and up because 12 is around the time, you know, the preteen years where yes. things start happening. We can't really explain. Right. And we do have different events for all of us, all of us collective, mm -hmm. also just uh, the older women, the younger women, and okay. the teenagers. So we have events for everyone. We, wow. We're just not focused on the mental, but mental, emotional, financially, health. Yes. All of the areas, yes. spiritual, yes. because we're not just, we're not focused on one spiritual uh, setting or religion. Yes. We're, we're working on whatever your spirituality is to get you there. Yes, exactly. And that's what we are. We, we, we're a non-judgmental place. Um, women of all kinds, however and, you became a woman. Like right there. No judgment. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. <laughs> no judgment. We are, yes. a, a, we are a safe space. Yes. And, and you know, that is again, so good to have that safe space and no judgment because, uh, that is the, one of the things that come to your mind. I'm going through this. I'm going to be judged. You know, uh, I'm all and the person is usually already judging themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what did I do? What did I do? What, what went wrong? What, you know, as you said earlier, life, mm -hmm. you know, I was watching a movie once and, and the person asks, uh, one of the actors, uh, what happened to this person? Mm -hmm. And he said, life. And life. I, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't remember, I don't recall very much in that movie, but I will never forget that part there because it is life. But you know something though, although I remember that part of the movie, although it is very true, but when I'm being bit <laughs> out of shape, mm -hmm. suddenly I cannot remember that. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember that. I was like, I'm just like, please help me. What is going on? And that's why you have a sisterhood for us to remind oh, you. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I read a lot of the uh, uh, different things that y'all have uh, on, on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, I tell you, they're very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Very inspiring. And uh, it's very helpful because, you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning, and you stroll through uh, Facebook and, uh, and just say, see that inspirational mm -hmm. Uh, notification really that inspiration notification is such a wonderful thing to happen you know so, because that's um, what we deal with is positivity we don't deal with anything not life is negative enough right exactly. um we can you can deal with the reality of life without being negative yes and positivity is what you need and that's mm -hmm. what we're going to bring to you we don't put anything on our page that is negative related no kind of abuse situation yes. now we will give you the hotline to an abusive situation right. if you need hotlines or if you need phone numbers you need someone to talk to but post things that are not uh, positive we don't do them we don't argue right. because sisters do not argue right, right. we do not argue we do not have do. right we do not do debates right exactly. we do not believe okay. in debates right. um because life is stressful enough mm -hmm. you say what you have to say we don't even post anything to be debated on <laughs> okay all right so for the most part everything is very inspiring mm -hmm. and inspirational so yeah, that is such a, that is such a blessing because, you know, we as, and I want to say women, mm -hmm. especially, mm -hmm. and uh, go through so much, you know, and I'm not saying just women, but people in general mm -hmm. go through a lot. And, um, you know, it'll be a, a grand uh, idea maybe in the future that it's for, uh, that you're reaching out to men and women, mm -hmm. boys and girls mm -hmm. alike, you know, because, um, because people go through so much in life and, um, and, and, and again, feeling, uh, you know, just bent from one way to another, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bent forward, I'm bent backwards, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm in a roller coaster, but to know again, bent, but not broken. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. And I, I, I believe in the organization. Um, I believe that it will develop and, and not only develop, but help develop people to the place where they need to be, you know, mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, especially with uh, depression, uh, you know, when a person is depressed, oh my goodness, it is 
it is a horrible it place is. to be in. Mm -hmm. And I know I went over 50 years, honestly, mm -hmm. and was never depressed. But a situation came that it really did depress me. And I thought before I actually encountered depression, mm -hmm. I actually thought that, that you could just snap out of it. No, ma'am. Because I hear people say, you need to snap out of that. And I don't know why people say that. Well, but it has to be people that have never gone through it. Well, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here in front of you being a guilty person mm -hmm. for that because I had, I had not been through mm -hmm. it. So I realize now it is nothing, absolutely nothing that you can just snap, snap out, out of. It's not. It, I mean, but I believe it is something that you can fight your way it is. out of. It is. And you we are here to help you it. fight. That's yes. right. We are yes. here to help you fight. Yes. And then you, you are absolutely correct. You have to fight your yes, way out you of do. it. And you have to fight your way not to go back into right. it. Because exactly. if you're in the same situation, and sometimes we will be in the same mm -hmm. situation, we have to fight not to get back to a, de a state of depression. And what people don't realize is being sad and being depressed is two different things. Yes. Being sad comes and goes. Yes. Um, depression kind of sits on you. Yes, exactly. Even if you have a good moment, the depression will still sit there. And yes. it's like it's a jacket you just cannot pull off. Right. And you can try to mask it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, as women, we mask it so well. And I didn't even realize I was depressed until my oldest son came in my bedroom one day. And he said, Mama, are you not going to get up? You've not been up for three days. Wow. I never noticed. I, I did not even notice that I had not taken a bath and gotten up in three days. So were you sort of embracing the depression? Yes. I had, I had just it, given, it I just a given away. Zone? Yes. I had just given away for it, away to it because it was my norm then. Mm -hmm. It was nobody would bother me because I'm not bothering anybody. Right, right. So it overtook me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I did not, I had, I, in the beginning, I was trying to fight my way out, but I felt like I did not reach out for help. Mm -hmm. I did not reach out to see a therapist. And what is so funny is I have family members that are therapists. Right. I know about therapy. Uh -huh. I grew up in the beauty industry. You yes. know that. Yes. You know you are my mentor. Yes. And, um, and I've seen how you talk to women and mm -hmm. talk them out of situations and talk them out of depression and get yes. them to come in. And I'm in the beauty industry. This is what I know. Yes. And as soon as it hit me, it paralyzed me Yes. because it should have never hit me. This is how I, I felt. I should way. have never been hit. What happened that, that it took me here? And you know, and what you just said, you, sh you felt like you should have never been hit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, and because you took that hit, you become uh, depressed. Mm -hmm. You become uh, angry mm -hmm. and you very become, angry uh, and hopeless, you know, and you feel a sense of hopelessness and you know, you can feel that way, but these are not, they're facts, mm -hmm. but they're not It's truths. just a feeling. They're not truths, though. It's, it's just a feeling. It, and that's, feeling. and it's just a feeling. Yes. And, and, and it's good that you said you, wh what you were just saying was, it may be a truth, but it's not the truth. It isn't the truth. That's exactly right. And once you get past the boogeyman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you realize, even if your situation is bad, because I never discount people's situations. Right. But you can, if you clear your mind, but you have to be in a place to clear your mind, a lot of things you can think through. Mm hmm and I, I like what you said, you, you don't discount people's situations because sometimes, you know, when you're sharing, mm -hmm. you know, what you've been through and people's like, girl, let me tell you this here. I've been through something worse than you. Know, <laughs> you're glad you didn't have. Who wants to go through a period? Right. Because it doesn't matter if you stump your toe mm -hmm. or if you cut wide open. Mm -hmm. Pain is pain. It's pain. And it's, and it's relative to who it is. Exactly. Uh -huh. yes. a, pe a person's reality, yes. I mean, a person's perception is their reality. Yes. So just because you went through five family members dying, that five family members may not compare to my one grandmother dying. Yeah, so exactly. we cannot... Um, we cannot just look at somebody's situation and compare it because we don't know. And that's another place that we are is a safe space. We don't compare each other's situation. We let you be you. Yes. And you know, that is a good thing. And, and, and you know, uh, as you said, allowing people to be themselves, mm -hmm. you know, uh, someone was sharing with me, uh, that, uh, this lady, her son was killed and, um, and, and people was telling her, you're going to be all right. And I was like, no, you're not going to be, I mean, you're going to eventually, eventually, you're going to be healed, but you're not going to be all right. You right. Know, you're not going to be eventually. all right just like that mm -hmm. because it doesn't come like that. But you know, uh, listen here, we're going to have a part two. Okay. So, 
you know, you, uh, you are the Miss. Na this is again. Um, this is a uh, Natalie Small Johnson, and you are my uh, my um, guest host. Mm -hmm. For several shows, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> because there's so much to bend but not broken. So if you have any questions or if you ever want to uh, be on the be on Shop Talk, please give me a call. Again, my name is Lila Jones and my telephone number is 252-916-1233. And thank you so much for tuning in. And again, remember, whatever you go through, bent but not broken. That's awesome. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. I, 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 I tell you, uh, this has been a, a blessing uh, this organization, I do believe it is going to be a blessing. I believe that it's going to grow and it's going to be supported. And because in turn, you're going to be supporting people mm -hmm. that, that need, that really do need the support. Because when I was going through, surely, surely, you know, I need the support. Mm -hmm. And uh, just our visit last night mm -hmm. on last evening, that was great. I'm, it I'm was. telling you, that was, it uh, was. It, it was great because I wasn't myself and, and you didn't like that because that's not, <laughs> that's not a person you've been mm -hmm. known for about 30 years. Right. You know, exactly. You are my mentor and the only mentor i know was you can be crying and she would say natalie you can cry but we got to make this money we got to we got to put these women out here we have to show them um that love yes overcomes yes, i mean and that's what does. kind of mentor you were to me yes. you would not just let me sit down and just waste away you would tell me i know your situation is bad but you have to keep going you and keep you going. have to work your way through it yes and that's what you did and that's for what me. we want everyone mm -hmm. to know and understand it, you know, the situation it is real. It is now. Now we, we're we're not negating that it is it isn't real. No, it's real. It is real. <laughs> but you know what? Victory is even more real. Yes, you can it come is. Out of it, you can come and out until of a person realizes that their situation is real, they can't come out of it. So what you said was a nugget because you have to realize this is a real situation that real you're situation. dealing with. That is exactly and right. uh, that's the only way yes. that you're able to come out of it is to realize this is real. This is and real. I have to face what's going on. But I can be positive yes. and I can work my way through it. And so you can be positive in a negative situation. Yes, you can. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes, you can. Well, again, you know, we thank you, audience, for tuning in to Shop Talk. Again, my name is Lila Jones and my guest co-host here is Miss Natalie Small Johnson. So we thank you so much and we thank you for uh, we thank you, Natalie, for bent but not broken. Thank you for yes, having me. Yes, I'm so yes. excited. Well, thank please you. Please come back. OK, because there's part two. Yes. And then we have so many things to talk about. Yeah, so many things to talk about in the future. So I'm so looking forward to it. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, this is a uh, this has been a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. um, information is always good to share wisdom and to know that, you know, we're we're, we're here. We're, we're here for you. You know, you're not out here by yourself. That's good. You may feel Amen. by yourself, but you're not out here by yourself. You're not out here alone. Mm -hmm. You may feel alone, but you're not alone. So, you know, reach out to us and we'll reach back to you. That's you know? awesome. Yes. Sisterhood. Is it Sisterhood. Is? Yes. And a, and a safe space. A safe now, space. Now, I really, really love that because, you know, uh, you want to be in a safe space. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Motivation is what we do. Strength is who we are. Oh, huh. wonderful. Yes. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> So, again, um, this has been Shop Talk. We thank everybody for tuning in. And, look, if you like the show, give us a call. You know, give us a call at 252-916-1233. If you enjoy the show, give us a call. And you may want to be a guest on the show. Give us a call again. Uh, my name is Lila Jones. And give us a call at 252-916-1233. And I certainly hope you have a beautiful day. And keep in mind, Bent but not broken. Awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm.